Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about one of my specialties here on my channel, and that is affordable fragrance. Specifically today, we're covering affordable perfume. So a lot of these perfumes are $50 and under, which I feel like is hard to find, but lately there's been some brands that have been knocking it out of the park with some affordable fragrances, specifically Arabian perfumes. So I have a lot of like the TikTok viral ones to talk about today, but I love that, you know, perfumes are getting more affordable, but still keeping that really good quality. So that's what we are are going to be covering. I'm going to talk about some recent perfumes I got. A lot of these are actually dupes for some more expensive perfumes. I'll have everything linked down below, but let's go ahead and get started. Now, I know everyone and their mother has tried to come out with a dupe of the famous Mason Francis Kirk Dijon Baccarat Rouge, and I have a lot of the dupes, but I have found the best one yet. This is by the brand Amara Rouge, and this is literally their specialty. They only make the Baccarat dupe, and that's all they have so far on their site, so you know this is going to be good, because they put a lot of time and effort into kind of nailing the formula. They are sponsoring today's video. I've been testing them out for a few weeks now, and I'm obsessed. Like, I'm ready to get rid of all of my dupes, this is all I need. I will never be paying full price for Baccarat again. We just don't need it these days. I mean, this is crazy expensive. And I am shocked that they were able to get such a long lasting formula that smells so similar to the original. So I have a few different sizes here to share with you. Of course, for me, go big or go home, I have their biggest size, which is actually their 30 ml. And what's unique about this is it's actually an oil perfume, which is kind of like a body oil and perfume in one. And if you know anything about body oils, that is how you kind of get your fragrance to stick on the skin, is having it in an oil version. So the smell is going to be on you hours and hours, all day, maybe even into the next day until you wash it off. It will last forever. So this one comes out in like a little sprayer. You really only need like, I do two sprays because I like everyone to smell me. I do a little spritz and then I just start rubbing it into the skin, we just rub it all over. So it's kind of like a body oil and perfume in one and it smells so good. If you guys are not familiar with the Baccarat signature scent, to me, I know it smells different to everyone, but to me it's kind of like, like an airy, sugary, slightly musk. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It is sweet to me. It smells like clouds and slightly sugary cotton candy a little bit. That's what it reminds me of. I'm a big fan. I can wear this scent every day. It could be like a signature scent for me. So good. So I love that they do that in an oil form. I feel like that just makes it last so much longer on the skin. It also comes in a little 10 ml spray. If you don't want a huge bottle, honestly, a little goes a long way with this one, so you really don't need a huge one. But it does come in the little 10 ml. And they also have a little roller ball for like touch ups or just like throwing in your bag for travel. So that one just opens up and you have the little roller ball, which I always recommend doing like behind the ear. I do like a little bit on the neck, just like, you know, your hot spots on the wrist a little bit. This is a nice little touch-up size. So if you've been wanting to try Baccarat, but you just cannot justify the price, or you haven't found the closest dupe yet, definitely try Amara Rouge. I'm really impressed with them. I've tried literally all the dupes, and this one is seriously is the closest with getting a much cheaper price but not sacrificing quality because I think a lot of the dupes may not last the longest and Baccarat is known for lasting pretty long on the skin. This will last just as long if not longer. It really sticks so well to the skin and people will be smelling you all day and wondering what in the world you're wearing. I swear I've gotten so many compliments on this since getting it. Definitely check them out. I'll have the link down below. You can get 10% off if you guys shop through my link, but let's move on to the next. Okay, we need to talk about these Arabian perfumes that have been taking over TikTok. I've seen them slightly coming onto Instagram and YouTube as well, but yes, I did try the Vibe Caramel Cascade from Taskeen or Paris Corner, which this brand makes a really good Kayali pistachio gelato dupe. So I was really excited to try this one because so many people were saying that this is so yummy, so gourmand, and a lot of people were comparing it to one of my favorite perfumes, Bianco Latte. Now, Bianco Latte is very much a lactonic or milky, sweet, like condensed milk, uh, caramely 
delicious perfume that projects. It lasts on the skin for hours and hours. I absolutely love it. So I was so curious how close this would be. Now I will tell you, with these, you need to let them sit a little bit. Do not judge it off of your first spray because you need to clear the sprayer out. At first when I sprayed it, I'm like, this smells like water down so bad. No, you need to let it sit at least a couple weeks, if not longer. And I would say it does remind me of Bianca Latte, but I saw this comparison and I would totally agree. It's like the diet version of Bianca Latte. So if Bianca Latte was like the whole milk version, this would be the skim milk or the diet Bianca Latte. Oh my god, it is so strong. I literally am like coughing because of how strong this fragrance is. But yeah, it lasts forever on the skin. These Arabian perfumes are so intense. It does kind of remind me of root beer a little bit, which the original Bianca Latte doesn't quite as much. But I still, I still do think they definitely have similarities. And this is kind of a good starter, I think, if you're kind of wondering if you should splurge on Bianca Latte, see how you like this one. Or if you simply cannot fit that into your budget, I think you can get the same effect with this one. As it dries down, it definitely becomes a little bit more of that yummy kind of powdery caramel deliciousness. So I do like it, but if I was going to compare them to each other, I still prefer Bianca Latte a little bit, but this one is quite a bit cheaper. I think you can get it off of Amazon. I'll have it linked for you. I think they definitely, they came pretty close. It's definitely the closest dupe that I have to Bianca Latte. So if that's one you've had your eye on or you like delicious kind of caramely scents and don't mind a little bit of a root beer smell, I think this is one worth checking out. Another one from that same brand, I had to order this. This is their, oh, it's also by the Teskeen line. I don't think it says the name on here, but this is their peach scent. I'll definitely try to find it on Amazon. This is really yummy as well. If you guys like a little bit more of a floral peach and it's really strong too. It's one of the stronger peach perfumes I have because I feel like with peach it's hard to make a really strong fragrance because it's, you know, it's peach. It's just like really sweet and fruity. There's not a lot of depth going on in it, but I definitely get something in here that kind of mixes with it that's slightly floral, but it's definitely majority juicy peach deliciousness. I prefer something a little more peach ring, a little bit more sugared, candy-like. Well, I think I can get that more in like a body mist. This perfume version definitely has some type of like musk or a soft floral in the background. So it's not quite that like candy I was expecting. It's still really pretty though and I think it's going to go with a lot of my peach scents. I can definitely mix it with some Bath & Body Works peach mist like the peach macaron I think I have from them. Oh, if you have the honeysuckle peach tea, that'll go really well with this as well. But yeah, it's not quite what I was wanting but I think it's still like a really good peach scent. Speaking of fruits, we have to talk about this one. I ordered this off TikTok shop, but I think you can probably find it on Amazon too. But I don't know how to pronounce this. It's by Aroma Concepts. It's just called Batika. I'm going to call it that watermelon. But this is like so yummy. Just what I wanted from this perfume. If you've been wanting like a longer lasting, true like sweet watermelon candy type of scent, that is exactly what this is. It reminds me a lot of the Bath & Body Works pink watermelon that they did. Oh, it's been a few years. I know they've been doing pink watermelon blasts. The pink watermelon blast is even more sugary. The original pink watermelon is a little bit more of a fresh watermelon, but this is really good. I'm honestly so impressed because I feel like so many watermelon scents are very light. They don't really last on the skin. It's a lot of body mist brands that create watermelon scents. So I haven't really found a good one in a perfume like this. And I love watermelon. But yeah, don't get me wrong. It's still very sweet, very juicy and yummy. I think this is going to be so good for summer. So I'm definitely going to be pairing this with my Bath & Body Works Pink Watermelon, even my Pink Watermelon Blast for the ultimate yummy watermelon feel. Really impressed with this one. I really like this one. This one's definitely more candy-like than the peach one from Taskeen. So this is one I'd say definitely get your hands on. I, I love this one. This was another TikTok shop find, but again, should also be on Amazon. I just kind of randomly bought this. I hadn't seen any reviews on it, but while I was browsing the perfume section, I was like, ooh, I'm intrigued. This is from Tokyo Milk, which I've been seeing some of their scents at TJ Maxx lately, and this is called Let Them Eat Cake. 
Now, I don't know why, I have some weird fixation with Marie Antoinette, and that's her famous line, let them eat cake. I did like a fun school project on her in high school, and since then, I've just really kind of been interested in her. I got to go to Versailles a few years ago and go to her palace. I didn't get to see like her cottage or anything like that. I know she has a little farmhouse, that part was closed, but I did get to tour Versailles, which was so cool, and they had so many cool Marie Antoinette things, but, yeah, I don't know. The fact that this was just called Let Them Eat Cake, I had to order it. It's so cute. It has a little cake on the inside. And the notes here say sugarcane, coconut milk, and vanilla orchid plus white musk. You guys, this is so delicious. You know what this reminds me of though? It reminds me of Bath & Body Works Warm Vanilla Sugar. But if you've noticed, Bath & Body Works kind of ruined that scent. It's not the same as it was like back in the day. This is like the old version where it's so strong, it's so yummy. I would say it's like warm vanilla sugar, but add a little more of a cake note to it, like a true vanilla cake. Oh my gosh. I'm in love, you guys know, I'm a sucker for a vanilla. Sometimes cake scents just overdo it for me because it's like too much, a little too realistic. This is perfect. If you guys like warm vanilla sugar, I think you'll love this. It totally reminds me of that. It's so yummy, edible. Definitely one that surprised me, being a blind buy, one I've never heard anything about. And I'm honestly so impressed with it. It is so yummy. I did buy three scents from Zara. Uh, I was really intrigued about this pistachio infusion. I've been on a pistachio kick lately with fragrances and Zara does have some pretty good affordable perfumes. Now this really is not what I expected and sometimes that happens with Zara scents. They have like a really exciting name and you think you know it, it's gonna smell like but then you get it and you're just like where <laughs> what happened here this is not what I expected so that's kind of what happened with pistachio infusion it does not really remind me of pistachios it smells like uh, Killian's angel share not what I expected at all why is it cinnamony why does it smell like apple pie <laughs> where's the pistachio I'm so confused with this one but literally I feel like this is a dupe for Killian Angel Share, which I do love, so not mad about it, but also kind of mad about it because I was hoping for some delicious pistachio, yummy, milky, something like Sol de Janeiro. I don't know, but this says it has notes of pistachio gourmand and a touch of iris and tonka bean, but no, this is literally Killian Angel Share, which, hey, I found a dupe for it if you're looking for one, but... Yeah, so confused about this, but if you want to smell like a cinnamon apple pie, the pistachio infusion <laughs> may be for you. Now, another one that smells familiar, this is the Zara Ruby infusion. And this one smells like another Killian, Love Don't Be Shy. But I feel like this is a slightly fresh take on Love Don't Be Shy. Like almost, I don't know why I smell like a little bit of like a laundry vibe with also like the marshmallow orange blossom that Love Don't Be Shy has. So it's like a weird fresh version of Love Don't Be Shy. The original Killian is a lot sweeter and this is just a fun kind of fresh take. I've never smelled the Eau Fraiche version so maybe that's what this is close to. But it definitely gives me Love Don't Be Shy vibes for sure. This has notes of marshmallow, cotton candy, sugar, and vanilla. Definitely getting some sort of freshness in here though that is not popping up in the notes So don't know what's going on there And then the last Zara one I have is the juicy infusion. I just kind of went crazy with this infusion line I don't I don't think it's duping anything. It's not reminding me of anything off the top of my head But it just smells juicy like this one the name is right. It smells Really juicy and fruity and fresh. This will be so pretty for summertime if you just want something really nice not too heavy this is really beautiful looking on fragrantica some people have compared this to like dkny be delicious if you guys like that apple scent from them which i can see i don't think that one's an exact dupe but it does remind me of that same scent family the notes here are pear jasmine and black currant so overall with that zara collection i'm left a little disappointed because i wasn't really looking for dupes here i just kind of wanted some fresh new scents and the names just really threw me off with those. 
Okay, here's a fun one. I picked up this new scent from Le Monde Gourmand, which is another affordable perfume line. You can find a lot of their stuff at like TJ Maxx, Urban Outfitters, and they started selling at Ulta now too. Now, I did order this one off of Amazon. This is one of their newest scents called Phrase Foyette. Don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's what we're gonna go with. And I heard this was a really yummy strawberry scent, so I really wanted to try it. And I'm not disappointed. This is beautiful. This is definitely, reminds me of like a strawberry milk, which is kind of what the actual perfume liquid inside looks like. But yeah, it reminds me of a sweet strawberry glazed milky fragrance. These aren't the most long lasting. They're definitely on the lighter side compared to some of these other Arabian brands that we've tried, but I don't know. It's just something different. It's definitely a different strawberry scent that I don't own. I mean, I do own like strawberry pound cake, strawberry, what is it? Snowflakes from Bath and Body Works. But this is totally different. Just like a really yummy, fresh strawberry milk is what I get with this. And it is so beautiful. Back to some more Arabian scents. I have, let's do this one from Latafa. That's a really good brand. You guys may have heard of Yara from Latafa, another really fun strawberry scent. Um, I also have their Kaoli dupe. So I finally got Nebras by Latafa. I've heard so much hype around this fragrance. It's actually supposed to be really close to Billie Eilish's Eilish perfume, but everyone says that this is even better just like it blends so well it lasts forever on the skin which I can definitely attest to now I'm not the biggest eilish perfume fan it is a nice vanilla but there's something like just spicy in there that I don't quite love I'm more of like a true vanilla gourmand type of girly but if you like something that's a little bit spicy if you really do like the eilish perfume I think you'll really like this one. It smells very, very similar to me, but I feel like this is just like, has more richness to it, just blends a little bit better. The spiciness isn't so sharp like how it is in Eilish. Sometimes that one just like, ugh, takes me aback a little bit. This one blends well. I do feel like this is more of like a fall and winter scent. I just don't know if I love the spices. So I still don't feel like this is completely my vibe. I think I like it a little more than Eilish, but I feel like you need to try this one for yourself and see what you think because I feel like so many people love this and love it even more than Eilish. This has notes of red berries and mandarin in the top, middle notes of vanilla, cocoa, and rose, base notes of sugar, tonka bean, amber, and musk. But yeah, I don't know if it's really my vibe, but I did want to go ahead and try it and see what I think, which I should have known because I'm not a big Eilish fan that I wouldn't love it. And last but not least, we have this one from the brand Swiss Arabian. I love the, oh my gosh, what is it called? The Tonka perfume from Swiss Arabian in the mint bottle. I've done a couple videos on that. Velvet Tonka is what it's called. But I picked up the Swiss Arabian Oud Amar, and you guys... This is so freaking good. This smells exactly like Tiziana Terenzi's Kirk perfume. And I've smelled that one in like Neiman Marcus. And I did go ahead and purchase it last year because I loved it so much. I found it on Joma Shop for like $90, which is like a fraction of the cost. But if I can find a dupe that is just as good or even better, I'm going to go for it. And I'll probably end up keeping the dupe. So... I really am impressed with this. I can't believe just how strong this is, how long lasting. And this is great for spring and summer because if you guys have ever smelled the Tiziana Trenzi one, it's kind of fruity. Like it's really like fruity and juicy to me, but also it's kind of like a your skin but better. I would definitely recommend trying it if you do like more of a fruity musk. This has so many fruity notes in it. It has top notes of peach, melon, freesia, bergamot, and iris. Middle notes of apple, amber, rose, and tonka bean. Base notes of musk, vanilla, amber, sandalwood, cedar, and oud. So it seems like there's a lot going on here, but I promise you it's not that intense. And I mean, it's strong. Like this is gonna last on you, but it's not like punch you in the face. It's not super sweet. I don't know. It's like the perfect fruity fragrance for me. I'm in love. You need to try this one. It's going to be my go-to for spring and summer this year. And yeah, I think this performs even better than the Tiziana one. So 
definitely check this one out. And that's actually gonna be the last one I wanted to mention in today's video. I just kinda wanted to try some of these like TikTok viral affordable perfumes and a lot of them I'm super pleased with. If you guys have any suggestions for some you want me to try out or review, you know I'm usually like a gourmand girly, so that's typically the kind of scents I go for. I like something sweet, sometimes fruity. I like skin scents but I'm not usually a big floral person, so you don't really see a whole lot of that going on in today's video, but I'm really impressed with a lot of these. Don't forget to check out Amara Rouge as well. I have everything linked in the description box, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.